Hi and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video I'm going to show you how you can clone absolutely any website down to the last file. Now you might be asking why yourself, why would you want to do this? Well there's a couple reasons. One is reconnaissance. So if you're into website hacking, um, you can find secret pages, you can analyze all the code, um, you can do lots of things. Um, another reason is if you want to change something like add malicious links, uh, add beef hooks, um, anything you want to that cloned website. Now the command is very very simple. All we're using is wget to do this. So we'll just go to a simple website um, so it doesn't take too long. Obviously bigger websites like Facebook or something like that will take a lot longer to clone. Now, um, this comes in handy if you want to host a phishing page, if you want to use this for social engineering and host your payloads off of a cloned website, especially binded payloads, um, this will really help you out. So I'm just going to search PuTTY, which is a tool used for um, making SSH and Telnet connections and stuff of that nature. So I'm just going to search PuTTY, go to the PuTTY download website, and copy the link. Okay, so all you have to do is type wget, um, I think you can type tech, tech help and get all of the help list of wget it really helps you extensively and there's a lot of parameters and stuff you can use but what we're doing is very 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 simple so you can read over that in your own time but we're going to do wget tech mk and then the website we want to clone Okay, so that quickly we clone the website. If you look in our home folder, we can see we have a folder called putty.org. So we're going to cut that and move that to our Apache server so we can host it. Now, if you port forward port 80, that will open up your Apache server to. Uh, the internet, you can also use ng-rock um, to open up your Apache server to the internet. It's very easy to do and uh, it doesn't take too much effort. So we're going to take everything inside of this folder and just paste it into um, our uh, Apache server. Now what this does is cone every aspect of the website. So it's a lot better than going to the website and then clicking uh, left clicking it and hitting view page source and then copying all the code that way uh, because if you do it this way you're going to miss uh, the pictures and the JPEG images and stuff like that and the website won't look um, exactly like the legitimate website so if you're looking for an exact clone this is how you do it so we have our cloned we're going to do service Apache to start and that will start our Apache server and now that our Apache server is started we can go to our server And as you can see, we are now hosting the PuTTY website exactly how it looks. Uh, so here's the real website. And here is our fake website. As you can see, the IP address is different, but you can use uh, link spoofers, link shorteners, and all of that good stuff to make sure that uh, the link looks the same. Also, it's going to be under HTTP, so now you can do man in the middle attacks, beef injection, and all of that good stuff. Also, if you wanted to look at the code of the website, you can just open up your folder, go to the index.html file, uh, open. Oh, that's going to open it with the internet.
My bad. So you can hit uh, open with other application, uh, your text editor, leafpad or whatever you use, and now you have access to the code. So say I wanted to change a link, a download link to a malicious download link. Um, right here, if you know how to reach HTML, is a link to download PuTTY. So I can simply replace this link um, with a malicious link to a binded payload or a regular payload. Someone goes to this website, thinks they download PuTTY, uh, but really they downloaded a payload. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to replace the links and bind a payload so it makes a foolproof uh, social engineering plus client side attack. Um, but this is just a quick video on how to clone any website. Um, again, you could do this with multiple websites. It will make an exact clone as you see on the browser. Um, the only thing different is the link. Most people don't even look at the links, uh, especially average users. Um, but here is the fake website. And here is the real website, exactly the same. So hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more content. And as always, have fun, stay safe, and keep hacking. Later on, we'll show you how to add beef hooks to this, how to add malicious links to this, and do all kinds of cool things with our cloned website. You can add code to track people. You can add code to make it malicious and do all kinds of fun things and then if you add DNS spoofing, browser redirection, uh, you can get into some really yeah. cool techniques. So this is how you do that. Hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more content.